Mitchell scores second hundred of the match for Lancashire. Darrell Mitchell became the first batsman in Division 1 this season to achieve the feat. Darrell Mitchell's spirited ton was the highlight of Worcestershire's innings on day one. That was until a late flurry of Lancashire wickets put them in a strong position heading into day two. Sitting at 86 for five, the visiting team had a huge job on their hands to salvage their first innings. The Lancashire captain Vilas was the first to fall on day two, a McGoffin delivery finding his pad and LBW the call from the umpire. Next to the crease it was Clark, but a Yorker drew an LBW shout, this time by Barnard for a fifer. Jennings managed to buck the trend of his fellow batsman, with the England opener managing 50. Lancashire weren't able to kick on though, Jennings himself fell foul to an LBW call courtesy of McGoffin. The collapse for the visitors continued, Bailey chipped a Morris delivery to Clark at cover. Lancashire were all out following the next delivery. Onions attempting to leave, clean bowl by Morris. Nightmare for the visiting team, having fallen from 77 without loss to 130 all out. Worcestershire taking a 117 run lead into their second innings. Mitchell and Guptill wasted no time getting comfortable at the crease as they opened the host's second innings. The duo continued to enjoy themselves up to lunch getting the host to the break at 57 without loss. A lead of 174 in their second innings and Lancashire with a lot of work to do with the ball in hand to give themselves any hope. Mitchell and Guptill started the afternoon as they'd spent their morning letting the bat swing and adding runs at New Road. Following 51 deliveries, Mitchell had his second 50 of the match and would be looking to duplicate his first innings by turning it into a tonne. Guptill was the first of the pair to reach his century off just 97 balls. Worcestershire 201 without loss in their second innings. The huge breakthrough came for Lancashire when Bailey trapped Guptill LBW, the opener departing with 111. Mitchell softened the blow of his partner's dismissal, bringing up his second century of the match. With Fell at the other end, Mitchell made it to tea with Worcestershire 249 for one, the hosts 366 runs ahead with nine wickets still remaining in their second innings. Lancashire in an awful position heading into the final session of just day two in this match. Mitchell and Fell continued to build their partnership with ease as the visiting team had no answer to the flow of boundaries. A well-constructed innings alongside Centurion Mitchell saw Fell reach his half century from 113 balls. Mitchell finally departed when stumped by Villas off the bowling of Clark. 163 to go with his first innings of 118. Clark had his second wicket of the over as he bowled Barnard with the all-rounder only making one run before his exit. Fell departed on 62, clean bowled for a maiden first-class wicket from Jones. Worcestershire 354 for four with a lead of almost 500. Stumps arrived at New Road with Worcestershire 361 for four. Clark and skipper Dolly Vera at the crease, Lancashire already 478 runs behind with another six wickets still to take. The hosts fully in control heading into day three.